What's going on, everyone? It is right here. We are back with the double upload because we are watching all eight 200cc records this time. We just finished watching all eight 150cc records of the Wave 6 DLC, Acorn Cup, and Spiny Cup. So starting it off, we got Tor Rome Avanti A114.614 by Alberto with, of course, my guy, Technical. At a 114.776 in second place. I hope to see him in first on another track. But for now, we have Alberto using Kamek Pipe Frame Azure Roller Paper Glider on Rome Avanti. Um, I'm very excited for this because the 150cc, like when I was watching the records, you know, I wasn't there was nothing that was like too shocking. You know, there were a few things, but I've played the tracks on 150 mostly, and um, this is the first wave that I haven't time trialed at all. So usually I time trial. And I only time travel 200. Um, so this is this is all going to be new to me. I'm very excited. Sit back, relax. And as I said last video, sit back and educate yourself. Okay. Okay. A slide before the, the trick ramp for like alignment and air purposes. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Nice. Okay. So that's a very low trick. It kind of seems like it would shoot you up in the air, but it doesn't. I like that. Nice. Good turn. A wide cut in. I'm just gonna hold this. Oh my. End points. Some break action there. Oh my god, that's off road. Barely avoided that. We're gonna see motion glider shenanigans from Alberto. Of course we are. Of course. Here come the chain chomps. Never mind, dude. Every time, every time I'm scared. I'm ready. I got traumatized that first time, dude. And then mushroom like that. Motion glider shenanigans. And there you go. Whoa. Interesting last turn, but maybe there's no better way to take it. Bang! GCN DK Mountain, a 146.826 by Genzwa, who has absolutely been tearing it up on this track. I mean, not super far away from second place, but look at third place. And then look at look at 10th place. I mean, we're looking at a 3.1 second difference between first and 10th worldwide. That's insane. We got Awoken with a 148.999 W time. And we got Gabe from Canada. I don't know who he is, actually. Um, Miguel, Eric Free. I recognize the 200cc names a bit more. Don't recognize Soup, though, in second. Anyway, Genzwa using Yoshi Pipe Frame. Okay, so we got two tracks and two pipe frames. Usually not what you expect to see on 200cc. Um, but let's see. I mean, Genzwa has been dominating. I think he's the only person to have a world record on this track since the track came out. Albeit it came out, you know, 36 hours ago. But let's, let's see. Okay. 200 CC, they just got the one coin. I mean, 150 CC, they got the one coin inside. 200 CC, we get the, the two coins outside. And we know that 150, as we saw last time, they do this whole shenanigans with the rock. So I want to see 200. What do we do? Okay, we don't drive over the rock. But maybe we do lap two because we got two coins there. Oh my, oh my. Yeah, this track is a mess, dude, on 200, I'm sure. Like, look, he's not even getting a super mini turbo. I don't know if he wanted to, but it wouldn't help if he did. It's good bridge tricks. Where's the mushroom gonna be? Where was the first mushroom? I don't remember. We'll see. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's a typical cannon glider landing. Get right back up to full speed immediately. Boulder, no matter. Oh my. Dude, like, honestly, like, watching this run, you're like, oh, this is simple, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure you guys can tell, like, Replicating this is getting impossible, dude. I mean, every air pocket imaginable is going to send you the wrong way. But, yeah, let's. What a line. Fast glider. You can hear him checking the rear view. A wide cut in so you don't get that air pocket. And this is just a trick, a little bit of a drift, mini turbo trick. And then you're just going in all the right places to not get air. Look at that. Mini turbo hop so you don't go flying. SMT drift off, break. SMT, yeah, I mean, you can tell. I mean, it doesn't look like it's super complicated, but you can tell that. I mean, e like everything can go wrong. Wonderful. 
We Daisy Circuit, a 116.751 by Army. Army's first appearance. We got Bro on the leaderboards. We got this guy, Soup. Who is this guy? In 10th. Um, but Army solidly ahead of second place. And you guys brought up a good point. Um, oh, interesting comment. You guys brought up a good point last time. The world record on 150cc uses Yoshi on Daisy Circuit. And Daisy has the same stats as Yoshi. Why aren't they using Daisy? In this case, Kamek does not have the same stats as Daisy, but I'm sure that Daisy could get the record here. I mean, I don't know. Uh, this early, I'm sure she could, but Kamek getting it done. Kamek has two world records on 200cc. That is not a line I would have bet over. 1.5 Kamek world records, wave six. I don't know if I would have taken that over. Don't gamble though. Anyway, one, two, three coins. Yeah, nice. This is the uh, the classic Teddy Buggy Crimson Slim 200cc combo that combines the speed combos of like Mach 8 Crimson Slim with the mini turbo situations of Teddy Buggy and uh, medium weight character. Great strat motion glider shenanigan there. Good line, good line. Nice. Boost panel, cut in tight. Oh, but then because you're going so fast, you go wide anyway. Get that boost panel. Holy stays on. I am never staying on that. That is crazy. And here we go. Mushroom, go wide so you don't hit the wall. And then, oh my, oh my goodness. What? It's day one, guys. I mean, can we relax? Boost panel, go tight. Don't break. Let yourself hit the boost panel. UMT, wide, cut in. I'm hitting a wall, I'm falling off, I'm doing everything but staying on that track. Piranha Plant Cove. I don't like how Nintendo does this. They did the same thing with Ninja Hideaway. It doesn't say Tor, even though it is a Tor track, but we, the community, mark it as Tor Piranha Plant Cove. A 126.640 by Mirai with Doodle in second place. Plunky on the leaderboard. Zay and Zay on the leaderboards. And Hobby, very nice to see. And Heather. And I mean, I may as well just list them all now. We got Nyoto, we got Casey, we got MW from France, who I guess is my friend, so I guess I know them. Um, I think that's everyone. And then if I go down one more, we got my guy three up with a 130.149. Anyway, we are looking at the world record. Mirai Peach at first Peach at world record. We have witnessed a 126.640. Using the streamer, that makes sense. We saw a lot of shenanigans on the 150cc world record, so I'm curious to see what they do on 200 cc probably they just do the same thing but faster if i had to guess um but let's let's sit back relax and educate ourselves okay, room start nice, nice. we're gonna drift into the water we're just gonna skip the whole turn again okay so exact same try as 150 exact same i like that though ocean glider shenanigans of course, of course. Okay, and then we're just gonna skip this whole turn. They do this in 150 as well. I guess in, actually, I mean, I think it is faster, but like the 200cc falling underwater seat, uh, speed kind of looks the same as 150. It's probably a bit faster, but it's not like so much faster that you can do something crazy. You know, the underwater kind of does nerf the situation. Early drift here. Okay, this this is different though. That was different from the 150 cutoff more there. Very nice. And I mean that stuff saves a lot. It saves a lot. So we gotta learn that. We gotta learn that. UMP there still has the two shrooms, just like 150. Here's one. Oh, and drifts. And releases. Nice. Now it's just driving straight. That's a second of section of track that could be optimized, but. Maybe that's just the best thing to do there is drive straight. And then bang. Nice. Good record. Moving on to the Spiny Cup. We got Tor Madrid Drive. A 123.249. Once again with Jens Bois. And look at my guy. Three up. You thought I was going to say technical. You thought I was going to say technical. But we got my guy. Three up in eighth place. Awoken on the leaderboard. Plunky on the leaderboard. And of course. My guy. Technical with the 122.903, but let's watch the 122.249, the current world record, another pipe frame world record. Pipe frame is just dominating. I mean, it's dominating. <sighs> okay, sit back, relax. Don't forget about the relax part, Ron. Let's relax and enjoy.
and educate ourselves. Torijas Churros. Is that a real place? Um, Alberto has the record on 150cc from Spain. And James has the record on 200cc also from Spain. That is fire. Good to see the Spaniards doing what the Spaniards do. Anyway. Okay, interesting. I thought maybe 200cc we were not going to mushroom there, but we do. And then we find areas of track to drive on that I did not know was possible to drive on. Um, and then as we learned in the 150cc record, there's this whole section that is just tighter. And you just like drive through the chairs. I'm assuming they'll do that on 200 as well. Probably harder, but let's see. Where is it? I think it's after this part. Yeah, you just like go to the right. No, okay, on 200 you don't. Yeah, it's too difficult. You'd have to slow down too much, I guess. Um, guess the 10th coin. Drifts to go into SMT motion glider situations. Tricks on the waves, mushroom. Oh, oh my goodness. What a section of track that was. I mean, that's the same shortcut as 150. It's just, it seems harder on 200. Everything happens so fast. Dude, like that whole sequence was started the turn before the glider when he started drifting to get to the super mini turbo to release it on the glider to motion glide to get to the like fountain trick to then do the shortcut like that's crazy drives there soccer ball not an issue and then bang and then smt and then bang and then bang 3ds rosalina's ice world look at this top five honestly army p Technical, Zay, Sir Book Rider, Q, a 126.456 by Army. I mean, I'm not going to do it every single time. We have Technical. In, I mean, he is still my guy, Technical, but, like, I can't say it every time. I mean, he's he's everywhere. Anyway, a 126.456 by Army. No, 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 no. Already, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What is this? What am I looking at? Rosalina. First of all, W. Rosalina on Rosalina's Ice World. I respect that. But Rosalina. Koopa Clown. Ancient Tires. No. What is the game? I'm pretty sure this is the New York Minute 200cc world record combo as well. The ridiculous world record combos have taken over. No, no. Ooh, cool strat though. Okay. Point. I am curious to see how they do the shortcut situation. I called it. You just go around. However, was it a shroom start? Well, they might do it last two and three. But we'll see. I guess no. What I called was that if you're driving shroomless, going around and getting the super mini turbo is faster than doing the ramp shortcut shroomless like it is on Snowland. But given that Army has not used a mushroom, I'm assuming he's going to use it through this ramp here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you have a mushroom, that's obviously faster. But if Shroomless... Well, you saw. Army did the end of lap one Shroomless. Even though it is technically possible to, you know, make the ramp Shroomless on 200cc. Uh, it's not faster, my friends. Just get the SMT and go around. So, I guess this combo, like... Is built for traction, right? New York Minute's a slippery road. Um, and this track is slippery, but it's just... I'm, I hope Nintendo is happy with what they've done. I hope they are. I really do. SNES Bowser Castle 3 Army is dominating. Wave 6, 200cc. We got a 114.342 by Army. We got some new faces on this leaderboard. We got Scar. We got Luckio. We got Grant. Um, we got Matt. Ooh, like kind of looks familiar, but I can't place it exactly. We got VF Kevin, a blast from the past. Mirai, Grace, Hobby, Gibman, I don't know, but great top. T Actually, look at this top 10, guys. It's all 114s. It's 0. 0.6 between first and 10th. Very nice. This seems like this is a nice Mach 8 Crimson Slim. This track is, has uh, become pretty optimized pretty quickly. Um... Or is it that it's become optimized, or is it just that, like, a lot of people are good at it? There's no, like, true standout? I don't know. Let's watch and let's learn. True start. Mach 8 Crimson Slim. I mean, this goes back to what I was talking about, Teddy Buggy Crimson Slim. 
this combo is um, getting more speed to sacrifice mini some mini turbo. But I guess, you know, that's just better for this track. It's not like Dry Bowser Crimson, or Crimson Slim Mach 8 though. So it's still like solid on the mini turbo using Pichette. Which has the same stats as Yoshi. Okay, that's the Mushroom Strat. Very nice. I'm wondering if this Fire Pillar is ever going to be an issue. Um, if it is, they can go around it. It's difficult on 200 CC. But also... Okay. That's, a, that's an interesting... Oh my goodness, so much is going on. Nice mini turbo trick. Barely charges that in time. That's crazy. Landing. SMT, boom, boom, boom. I'm a little scared of the fire pillar. Might be a pace issue for some slower players, but slower players, but not for army. Seems like the only way to drive and not hit the wall is to drive up that beginning pillar situation, so that's kind of cool. UMT. Mini turbo trick. Solid time, guys. Solid time. We Rainbow Road a 152.005. I had to double check to make sure I was on 200 CC. This is true. I believe this is the new longest track in the game, beating Maple Treeway. What? You really thought you really thought we were gonna get through all eight new tracks and have my guy technical not have a world record? No, my friends. No, sir. A 152.005 by technical with super effects. Good to see super effects on the leaderboards in second. And then we got a lot of other names. HGT as well. Um, I mean, Zay, of course, again, I don't recognize anyone else, but let's watch this. I'm very excited. I did not download the ghost. I'm just, I'm just praying. We've watched eight 150cc records. We've seen seven 200cc. Oh, I really, I'm pretty sure the record at one point used Funky Kong. Am I sad that Funky Kong does not have a world record in this game? Yes. But that's because Funky Kong is trash. Like, I mean, it's it's not like it's not ridiculous to say that because it's true. Wario has the same stats as Wario and Dry Bowser. Did I say Wario? Funky Kong has the same stats as Wario and Dry Bowser. Who are objectively bad. I mean, Nintendo made them bad on purpose in the balance patches. So it's just it's just sad. You know, it's sad to see. But let's watch this. Boom. Boom. Shortcut. Drift. I I knew that. I discovered that when I was playing the game. Let's go. Bang. Okay, anyway. We gotta, we gotta watch technical cook. What's he gonna do here? Okay, does that and doesn't get the speed boost? Don't know if that's on purpose. Um, we will see. Oh, checking the rear view. That's funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing, Tech technical? It is day one. It is day one, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? What are we doing? Kamek is disappearing. Kamek smashed the line, by the way. Three Kamek World Records. Watch him on the landing. I feel like it's possible to get the speed boost, but maybe not. Given that I, I trust technical more than my, like, theories. Um, doesn't go wide to get the last boost panel. I guess it's not worth it. I also think it's really funny that just driving straight without anything on 200cc makes the camera like glitch under the road. That's kind of hilarious. What a strat tech. What a strat, man. And I guess the slip there, all three laps. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, interesting tricks this time. Oh, actually, I know why. Because the first the first two laps, you drift off that ramp, and the whole turn afterwards, you're charging the UMT. Um, but lap three, you don't need to. So you just trick. I guess that's faster. And then you SMT, and then, and then bang. I mean, listen, guys. That's all eight. All eight 200cc world records, day one. We will be back next week to watch everything again, 150 and 200. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow once again. We got a video. Uh, that the members have already seen. Thank you. Thank you, members. And actually, the members have already seen. Um, so basically, the members on this channel, they get early access to all my videos at, as soon as I upload them. Instead of setting them to private, which I usually do, YouTube has a new feature that you can set them to, or you can schedule. I guess you could have always set them to members only, but you can schedule a video to change from members only to public. So I'm recording a lot of videos right now, and I'm just uploading them. 
and as I wait to schedule, you know, like one a day, the members are enjoying. So to my members, thank you. If you're not a member, I, I get it. It's okay. I mean, I'm not offended. Um, you know, there, there, there's, there's give and take, right? Because a member can binge watch like eight videos, but then I guess you don't have a video to see when the video comes out to everyone. Doesn't matter. Boom. I forgot that I have to hit stop recording. Boom. 